today we'll be talking about Oracle EPM and why we'll be using this specific technology and what our goals are. So well, first of all, what is our goal? What's our goal for using Oracle EPM and this technology? So first of all, Oracle EPM is usually used, or it is used to determine specific financial data from large data sets and companies. For example, if we had the question that the Apple CEO, Tim Cook, wants a report with the gross margin and revenues of all products for the current quarter compared to the same quarter last year across different regions, then what would we do? What, how would we do this? So there's diff multiple different systems that uh, we can use to go about this and multiple systems that are used in business logic and business analytics. So first of all, let's look at the question that we just asked. Um, for the most part, we all know what this is. This is our net income statement. So basically what Tim Cook would be asking is, let's compare this net income statement, say a specific revenue that we have, compare it, to, uh, compare it with a certain quarter from our year to, a diff to a, the same quarter last year, but compare it across every single different cost center in different regions. So that would, that would require a lot of queries to take care of. So first of all, we have our first system, which is OLTP, which stands for Online Transaction Processing. And now this data, the data is modeled based on entity relationships, uh, which means mainly customer orders with customer and order, in order lines. It's very linear. Um, which means rows and columns like Excel. So the data is stored in rows and columns like Excel. So the problem with this is for, for our question, which is the Tim Cook question, if t Tim Cook asks about our revenues, problem is it's very tedious to query out all this data and get what we would like through uh, all the different regions and different years and different quarters and whatnot. Um, what, this, what this system is mainly used for, like I said, is uh, customer, customer orders and online transactions. So for example, we had uh, Amazon order. Um, how, how would OLTP go, in, go on about this? So if we look over here, we have uh, somewhat of a little query that we have for uh, customer information. So first of all, we, got, we query out our customer and then we'll look at the customer's shipping address and their billing information in a different, so the first Excel sheet would be customer then another Excel sheet would have the shipping address and billing information for that specific customer. And then underneath that, we query into their orders. So that one customer could have multiple different orders. And if you wanted to even go even more in depth, th those different orders could go to different shipping addresses. So it could change up. But this is this is an example of what OLTP would be used for, for online transactions. So uh, to go about this, uh, OLTP would use RDBMS, which is Relational Database Management Systems. And some examples of these are Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, Postgre, PostgreSQL, and IBM's DB2. Um, the problem with this is it's very error prone if you're doing analytics and data not be, and it's because data may not be clean for analysis, which is a problem for us considering we're not exactly inputting data, we're trying to uh, analyze data and get, get a certain thing. So the next system is OLAP, which is online analytical processing. And there's two sections to this. So there's Rollap and Molap. First of all, we'll talk about Rollap. So Rollap is, uh, is different from OLTP because it's not linear in queries. It's more of a star schema. So if we look over here, if we, if we compared it to our question that we had with Tim Cook, so we have our report in the middle. We have our account, which is um, our, our, our different net income, our, our different parts of the net income statement. And then we have a period which is our quarters and years, and then we have our product, and then we have our entity. So we could do it for different products, and entity would be your different regions. So all these query up into your report, and it makes it a lot easier because, first of all, the main thing is that all these different dimensions are stored in as hierarchies. So inside of your entity, you might have North America. Underneath North America, you might have Ohio, Michigan, different states. And under that, you might have cities. So th the reason it's very nice is because if one specific part is changed and if you want to change if you want to change that specific parameter to get specific data you can change it at the level zero if you look down here it's marked as the highest level is the, the broadest region or broadest dimension and it goes down to level zero so it's it's changed at the level zero and uh level zero hierarchy inside of this dimension 
So it's very easy to change out what you'd like, and it's not too tedious to query. Now, RDBMS can still be used to create data tables for this, as uh, a lot of these data tables at the level zeros might be used in Excel. Um, to transfer over from OLT, OLTP is still used for business logic, but we're doing more, more business analytics. So e ETL and ELT is used to transform the OLTP data into o OL OLAP data. Uh, so it's it can be used for more analytics. Now, MOLAP is more of what Oracle EPM comes under. So in this uh, system, data is stored in cubes. It's stored in a binary format, so it's optimized for, to query and aggregate the data. So how it's really stored is the different dimensions that we talked about, the account dimension and the uh, entity dimension would be your dense dimensions. And they would pull out a block that would would be the size that accounts for every single possible value. But based on the dimensions that you put in, the block will pull out only the values that come underneath those dimensions. And inside of each, each of these blocks, one cell, so one of these cells would contain the data that you would need. Now, some examples of this are S-Base. Um, that is stored in block storage, which is BSO. And it's also stored in aggregate storage, which is ASO, where all the data is stored in the level zero component of the block. Another example is Microsoft SQL Server anal or Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services. Um, what SBase basically is is it's Hyperion SBase, which was bought out by Oracle, and now it's Oracle EPM. So this is what we'd be working on, mostly MOLAP. Um, and like we said, the data is, is stored in a cell um, in different dimensions. Now we'll talk about how to use Oracle EPM in the next video.